एवरीबडी इज़ फाइन आज की हम वीडियो हिंदी में बनाएंगे ये जो वीडियो है वो बहुत खास होने वाली है इसमें मैं रिसेंट एक क्वेश्चन टेस्ट हुआ है उसके जो क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं उनके बारे में बात करूंगा और उनके बारे में आपको थोड़ी बहुत हिंट भी दे दूंगा मेजोरिटी ऑफ द जो क्वेश्चन आंसर हैं वो जितने भी पूछे जाते हैं जॉब रेडी में वो सब मैंने अपने यूट्यूब चैनल पर डाले हैं अगर आपने नहीं देखे तो आप वहाँ पर जाके फ्री प्रिपरेशन कर सकते हो जॉब रेडी की चैनल का नाम है शेफ सोमजीत सिंह वहाँ पे एक प्लेलिस्ट है उस प्लेलिस्ट को प्ले करो और अपने टेस्ट की तैयारी कर सकते हो सो so, इनका रिसेंटली एग्जाम हुआ था मेलबर्न में ये एग्जाम हुआ है तो उनसे कौन से कौन से क्वेश्चन पूछे गए हैं उन्होंने मेरे को ये लिख कर भेजे हुए हैं सो so, थोड़े से क्वेश्चन है उनके बारे में बात करूंगा अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छी लगी तो प्लीज लाइक करना ना भूले ठीक है सो so, शुरू करते हैं कि पहला क्वेश्चन था उनका कि शेफ की जॉब एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज क्या होती हैं सो बींग शेफ यू प्ले लॉर्ड ऑफ रोल्स इन द किचन सच एज फॉलोइंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पॉलिसीज एंड प्रोसीजर्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई वुड से मेंटेन सेफ प्रैक्टिस और मेंटेन सेफ फूड प्रैक्टिस एंड रेगुलर क्लीनिंग बिफोर एंड आफ्टर ईच टास्क एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ऑर्डरिंग रिसीविंग स्टॉक कुकिंग द मनर राइट टेम्परेचर मीट्स आर इन प्लेस दैन ट्रेनिंग स्टॉक मेन्यू प्लानिंग फूड पोर्शन कंट्रोल एंड फीफो प्रिंसिपल अलर्जन हैंडल अलर्जन कंप्लेन्स और हैंडल कस्टमर कंप्लेन सो ऑन एंड ऑन सो यू कैन एलाब्रेट ऑल द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज इन दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू योर Role which you are playing in a your organization. Second question was previous experience. So you must know nowadays they also check your profile. So means like when did you come to Australia? Where did you take admission? Or where did you uh, complete your study? And when which year did you finish? It's all these questions related to your previous experience. They can ask you. So you should be knowing those questions. Next question was. staff training like do you train staff yes i do train staff so if you train staff what kind of activities do you train them or what kind of activity activity you follow to train them so this is very basic question so how do you tell them and how do you monitor them uh, that is totally your job role so you can answer is according to your organization or according to your premises like what activities do you tell them or you just ask them to follow next question was grill temperature it depends which grill do you use do you use charcoal one or do you use the electronic one so it depends totally the minimum temperature start from 195 and it can go up to 350 so depends what you are cooking on particular grill so make sure you can check with the infrared temperature the temperature at your workplace so you have the exact answers next question was a roaster how do you plan roaster so this questions i already have uploaded on my youtube channel so you can go and watch these videos that's pretty much same basic questions and uh, next one was menu plan so do you how do you menu plan so basically a couple of things do you keep in mind like locality the season and the budget and apart from that the availability of the ingredient sustainability of the ingredient and any extra equipment or any extra manpower you require for the menu planning so these all can things you keep in mind before you plan a menu next question was delivery how do you receive delivery how do you order delivery these all information i have already uploaded on my channel precisely so go and watch them don't forget uh, that how to stack in a courtroom this one has also explained that so many times so you, so you can go and pop up and watch those ones if you got seafood defrost what do you do so let's say if you defrost the seafood and uh, you don't use it in your cooking and you keep it in a cool room for maximum of 2 days and after 2 days you have to cook and you can serve the food but more than 2 days you cannot keep your seafood in your cool room so the expiry life of seafood is only for 2 days next question was if oil spill on the floor this question has been explained in my youtube videos so you can go and watch them all the hazards like slip and trip on the floor and apart from that the oil spillage all the hazard questions i have explained in there so don't forget to check out them next question was adjust the cooking while you receive any special requests so this is very important they can ask you like let's say if any vegan person comes or you have this one particularly in your menu and what kind of adjust meant you do you do in the menu so according to the dietary requirements you can answer it like if somebody is allergic to dairy so we won't give them dairy instead of dairy we can give them coconut based gravy or curry with the tofu so that is a substitute so same thing if it's not curry some are allergic to so we will not give them any nut curry we will substitute with the something else so these you can 
do adjustment according to the menu questions if they ask you in your test. Next question was, if you got 20 docker set at one time, what will you do and how will you manage? Right. So that was the question. So you will say like prompt if your restaurant got busy so you will be alert you will be paying proper attention to each docket make sure there will be easy communication with the front of house team back of house team so there will be no any hassle so it has to be a focus on the first in first out dockets or first come first serve dockets we will follow those uh, principles and make sure if anything is run out or finished so make sure there will be the clear uh, instruction to the front of house team and uh, have to be focused with the back of house teams if every docket is on time and every food is delivered on the time so make sure there should not be any compromise with the quality and the standard of the dishes it has to be proper way which the restaurant maintains standards so that you can answer so don't panic be relaxed and focus on the dockets which first comes so you should prepare that next question was if your grill stop working during service what will you do so you can say if grills stop working during your service so you can use substitutes so substitutes you have hot plate you have griddle pan so these can one you can use it if you still don't have you would say we will use oven we will try to do some pan searing which we usually do it so these options you use so always quick thinking is possible whenever these scenario based question asked in your test you cannot say no we don't use it we will inform the supervisor but apart from that during service if these things happen how will you tackle those ones? So that is very important. Uske baad wala question tha ki deep cleaning, what chemicals do you use? So according to your restaurants or according to your restaurant standards, what chemicals do you use? So you can name those chemicals. Generally, we use D2, D10. What PPP are using during chemicals? So this is very common question. So what PPE do you wear during your chemical handling? So long gloves, long safety shoes, apron, and goggles and mask this is the pp for chemical what utensils are you using during service according to your restaurant's standard recipe cards what dishes you prepare on the behalf of those dishes you can answer it like this one we use it this one we use it like blender roboco oven microwave salamander griller griddle pan uh, hand blender spatulas, tongs, ladles, everything, whatever you use during the service. So you can name those utensils and equipments. So equipments you can say is like um, uh, service wear, crockery, so forks, knives, cutlery, uh, balls, plates, uh, saucers, ramigans, uh, dessert plates, everything what you use utensils. So you can name on those ones accordingly. So equipments and utensils pretty much uh, not same equipments which we take help to cook food and utensils which we help to serve the food in those utensils so that is the difference next question was what electrical equipment do you use in uh, your kitchen so electrical equipment like robocop you would say if they are on electrical if you are using uh, fryers if you are using ovens anything which is on electric you can name those equipments how to clean prop when you clean prop there is a basically two methods one is alcohol wipes another one is sanitizer so you can use both of them if you don't have both of them you can use soapy water but make sure every single time you use it you have to clean it so the next question was any dish you add in your restaurant so in this one you can answer according to your choice what you want to add what you want to implement in the future so that's totally your call you would say lamb chop, you would say any Afghani chicken, or if you say any uh, teriyaki chicken, anything according to your restaurant services, according to the restaurant menu, you can decide and you can tell me your answers. The next question was, what vegan dishes do you provide your customer which is not in your menu? So in this question, you have to be a little bit uh, out of the box. You have to think. Uh, usually, there are so many dishes, especially if you talk about Indian cuisine, there are the different cookings, or that there are different dishes which we make every single time those are vegan like if you talk about aloo mutter if you talk about beans and aloo if you talk about cauliflower and aloo if you talk about aloo mutter dry aloo mutter gajar aloo mutter uh, tofu you would say chana with aloo 
and you would say eggplant and potatoes you will say spinach tofu with koftas with the uh, aloo koftas with spinach so there are so many options we have so it's not necessary we always use cream and butter we can avoid those one we can use coconut cream we can use vegan butter which is always available in the convenience store so these options you can uh, tell in your answers what is internal temperature of the chicken that was the last question so this is question very much asked so internal temperature of the chicken is 75 degree or above it can be 79 80 depends and uh, internal temperature you have to make sure cooked temperature and internal temperature is same it can be 75 or above so don't say below that sometime assessor get pissed off so i hope these question will help you to pass your test if you like this video if you think this is the benefited video for you so you can hit a like and you can subscribe this channel i'll see you in the next video till then take care of yourself ciao ciao